Uh, greetings, my brothers and my sisters. Uh, this is Prophet West coming to you, and I want to uh, talk to you from the text or the word God has given you strength to get to your cave. He has given you strength to get to your cave. Now, this particular um, word. It's going to be a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge, and prophecy. And what I want to do, I want to talk to where you are. And in the Bible, in the Bible, in the book of Kings, I think it's 1 Kings, the 19th um, chapter, where it talks about Elijah. And Elijah had just uh, been used by God for a mighty victory. But after God used him to bring a mighty victory, victory Jezebel sent a word to him by messenger saying on tomorrow about this time the same thing that you did to them I'm gonna cause to do to you and what Elijah did after the victory he became afraid and he ran for his life and not only did he ran for his life he dropped his servant off somewhere but then he went to a place and hid under a bajulipa tree, he was afraid and requested to die. And I like to talk to some of you, many of you, and some of you, you've been at this place where you've been hit so hard, where you've been discouraged so hard, fear grip your heart, and you're at a place now where you feel like dying. You feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you don't stand up or you don't measure up to where God has called you or where God has taken you to but the thing that you must understand and realize that whom God has called also whom he qualified and so in the story of uh, uh, the man of God Elijah after uh, he had hid up under the uh, juniper tree and had requested to die this is what God did God sent an angel to him now he was afraid and he was weak but God sent an angel to him and the angel on assignment, and what this angel did, this angel strengthened him. This angel brought him food the morning, the evening. And after that angel gave him food, he became strong. And what he did, he ran, uh, he ran for 40 days and 40 nights, and he ran to the cave. And so he was at a place where he was about to, he felt like he was about to die. He felt like he was inadequate. He felt like he wasn't good enough. And many of you felt like that. But at that place where he felt like that, God sent strength to him. And in them God sent his strength to him, God gave him strength wherein he could get to the cave. And the moment that he got to the cave, God can talk to him. Because, see, fear got him to that cave. But while he was in that cave, God spoke to him and asked him why he was here. And this is what happened. A wind came, an earthquake came, and fire came, and God called him out. And the thing about it, many of you, you're in your cave. God gave you the strength to get to your cave. And your cave is painful. Your cave is hurt because you went there because of something that you didn't expect, that you didn't anticipate. And you was going there to hide. You were going there to get away from people because you didn't want people to see you in this particular state of mind and how you were looking and how you were feeling because you was always want to make people think that you were strong even though when you were weak you want to make people uh, think that you was happy when inside you was wanting to cry I know I'm talking to somebody but I'm talking about in that cave now in this cave you ran to this cave you ran to hide out you ran you wouldn't be bothered to nobody and so but while you were there and you thought that you were going to get away from people but what was happening you was you was getting there to get to God and so now there are many of you in your cave and your cave is your warfare your cave is your pain your cave is hurts and things that you're running from to escape from see but what God is going to do and what God is doing to you and he's speaking to you while you're in your cave he's speaking to you while you're in your pain he's speaking to you while you're in your hurt and he's speaking to you where while you're in that condition that you're in and because you feel unworthy you feel like you're all alone you feel like you're doing everything and you not got no help and but see but what Elijah did God spoke to him and let him know he let him and called him out and let him know that he was the only one to let him know that he had plans for him to let him know that God is mindful of him 
and that God was going to give him a new assignment. And so many of you, you're in your cave, you're in your cave of pain, you're in your cave of hurt, and you're hiding out. See, but that's not a bad place because the Bible says that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And so in this secret place, it's like the cave of Adullam. And so in the cave of Adullam, uh, there were mere men that followed David, who was a giant slayer into this particular cave. Now, they went into this cave as mere men. But the moment, as the longest, and the moment they stayed in the cave, they was in there for a while. But when they got out of the cave, they were different. They were mighty men of valor. And so at the place where you are, you're in this cave. You're in this place where you're hiding out. And see, the Bible also say when you pray, go in your secret closet and close the door. And what you do in secret, God is going to reward you openly for. And so you at that place, secretly you're crying. Secretly you're in hurt. Secretly you're in turmoil. Secretly depression is in your mind. Secretly you want to give up. Secretly you want to walk away. Secretly, you want to do all kind of things that not according to what you know God has called you to do. But stay in that cave because God is going to call you out of that cave. And the moment that God called you out of that cave, you're going to be ready. You, you went in with fear. But when God's called you out, you're going to come out with faith. Hear me and hear me well. And see, while you're in your cave, what God is doing, God is moving away burdens. God is moving away excuses. God is moving away fear and doubt. And what God is birthing in you, God is birthing a new thing in you. And so you went in one way, but you're coming out victorious. You went in feeling defeated, but you're coming out with victory. You went in feeling down and weak, but you're coming out going up and strong. And so hear me and hear me well. God is about to change your life and he's about to change your story. And see, you thought that your story, you thought that your story was over. You thought that there was a period, but God has put a comma and a conjunction and God is saying to the next chapter your next chapter is about to begin and so what you need to do while you in that place in that place of fear in that place of pain and hurt stay right there and allow God to call you out with his wind allow God to shake you uh, with his anointing and allow God to burn you and, con and consume everything that's not like him within you and your mind and your thoughts with his fire and the same fire uh, that's consuming things the same fire is going to come out of you it's going to come out of your life it's going to come out your walk and your talk and you you will be victorious and you will be an example in this day and time hear me and hear me where you coming out you're coming out of your cave you you got called you in the cave he gave you strength to get there but God is calling you out with power and God is calling you out with victory amen God bless you